Good morning. I am Nigel Rawlinson, the University Chaplain. Welcome to this uh, moment of remembrance on this day, the 11th of November 2011. We are here on the fifth floor of the library. We cannot form a gathering this year, and so we are broadcasting this moment on live streaming. My thanks to Sasha Goodwin and Ben Harris for helping set up this event. We are going to time a moment of silence with the pips. However, a word of warning, there is a few seconds delay between the pips going out and being broadcast on live stream, so please don't adjust your watches. But we will be standing together with many in this nation and around the world at this moment in history. And we will start formally in a moment or two. So just enjoy the surroundings, the great view from this balcony. Good morning and welcome to this University Act of Remembrance. It is coming up to 11 o'clock on the 11th of November 2020, a moment when the nation pauses. And we are gathered here to join many others in pausing to remember together those who have given their lives for our safety, to give thanks for them and to give each other strength. We also stand in support for those for whom this day is painful through bereavement, memory or injury. To acknowledge a sacrifice given to preserve the freedom of others. And in doing all this, we present the basic human instinct for peace and safety. This year, we also hold the present fear and uncertainty, hardship and loneliness. We are not allowed by law to congregate in public. So we are here, broadcasting from the University Library balcony. There is still a changelessness of this annual event, now 100 years old, and this gives comfort to all generations. In a moment, there will be two minutes silence, timed to mark the moment when the Great War ended. It will start with the last post, following the pips, played by third-year student Theo Edwards. And during this following time of silence, we stand together, united in the moment. This is a community time to draw strength from each other, and, if this is your wish, to pray as you will. Then, following the rows on the trumpet, there will be a final exhortation. We will remember them. First, two poems. Wilfred Owen was a First World War poet killed on the 4th of November 1918. He captured his experience in poetry. He said, my subject is war and the pity of war. The poetry is in the pity. Rosie Aston, a year two student and the chaplaincy assistant, 
will read two poems that capture the futility and confusion of war. In the first, Owen retells the Old Testament story of Abraham, who believed he'd been asked by God to sacrifice his one and only son Isaac as a test of his obedience. Rosie. So, Abraham rose and clave the wood and went and took the fire with him and a knife. And as they sojourned both of them together, Isaac, the firstborn, spake and said, My father, behold the preparations, fire and iron, but where the lamb for this burnt offering? Then Abram bound the youth with belts and straps and builded parapets and trenches there and stretched forth the knife to slay his son. When lo, an angel called him out of heaven, saying, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do anything to him. Behold, a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. Offer the ram of pride instead of him. But the old man would not so, but slew his son and half the seed of Europe, one by one. So now we stand and wait for the pips. I have one or two others standing around the parade below me here, a sense of community here. BBC Radio 4, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, the guns fell silent and the First World War came to an end. Today, on the 11th of November, we remember in silence all those who have given their lives in the service of their country.
now we join countless others in two minute silence. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thank you very much. <laughs>